Hello everybody, I'm back for another late night session of Raging Loop, and last time we made the unfortunate discovery of Konzo's body. So the second night passed, we had a bit of a bit of an intense morning so far. We saw Ms. Chiemi with a knife. Uh, met up with some of the students, or with all the students, I think. Haru seems shaken, which is something to think about. And we met up with uh, the rest of the villagers. Unfortunately, it seems that um, Haruaki was able to correctly predict the wolves' strategy, which was to take out a person uh, of leadership within the village in order to cause confusion. Now, we don't know for sure if that's exactly what the thought process was, but... Uh, it certainly lines up with Haruaki's guess so far. <clears throat> the other one we thought it might be could have been um, Yasunaga, but he is still around, thankfully. We, <clears throat> the other important thing of note here is the nature of his death. While the journalists were completely, their bodies were completely destroyed. That's not that's not the right way to say it. Brutalized. Um, torn apart. You know. Konzo's, on the other hand, it was mostly intact, and it was just his head that was beat in with repeated blunt strikes. Now, what that means, I'm not entirely sure yet. Obviously, there's a, the, the distinction between the corruption and the wolves. But it makes me think... You know, what if it's a weird situation where, you know, I've been I've been think, trying to keep this sort of supernatural versus natural in my head, and what if it's it's a weird thing where it's actually like both at once, where there is supernatural stuff going on, but at the same time, there, you know. The, it's, it seems that this murder has been done with uh, human sort of intent or human means, essentially. Someone walked in and beat his, beat his face in. You know, it's very simple. Um, now, that just could be, if we're looking at this from the supernatural thing, um, that it's, it's the person that's been replaced. It's, it's still... They're still in that human shape, so obviously it's going to be as if a human did it. Um, but I don't know. I'm just trying to keep different thoughts, different perspectives in my head as I go through this. Uh, st I still feel like we're pretty early on, so uh, going to have to need more evidence, I feel, before we can start making some big uh, declarations about that. In any case, we're going to have to deal with the remains and uh, obviously inform the rest of the village, so this will not be pleasant, but uh, it's got to be done. So let's, uh, let's get to it, shall we? As I washed my hands, Takumi-san removed the sliding door and put Kanzo-san's remains on it. He covered his destroyed face with a nearby hand towel and prepared to carry it. We lifted it up. Yeah, excuse me. We lifted it up, and yeah, this was definitely a job for two people. We went out into the mist. Saranaga A voice devoid of life. I couldn't call out to him. Pushing him any further was dangerous. I could tell by the air about him. Why? 
うたげでヘマやったから。うん。That was entirely possible. This proved he was aware of it himself. I would have said that, but it felt wrong. 僕にはよくわかりませんが、少なくとも、たくみさんがご自分なりにベストを尽くそうとされているように見えますよ。だからって、失敗したら何にもならねえ。じゃあ、取り返さないとですね。これからは多分、あなたが休水をまとめていくことになる。俺には無理だ。Well, I couldn't either. I was just an outsider. So I had no idea how to console him. Feeling powerless, we approached the dining hall. We'd pass by here and go straight for the graveyard. Tai Yamawaki san had come out too. She was in the midst of prayer. Kaori Oribe san was standing next to her. She looked completely out of it. Rikako Uematsu was covering Mako's eyes and looking straight at me. Haru chan, Kanzo san's actual granddaughter, was watching her grandfather's corpse with an intense expression. It probably wasn't good to make assumptions here, but I couldn't help it. I felt like her expression was full. Not of unbearable sorrow, but of anger, hatred, and disgust. I'd never seen them have a nice chat, so I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't see eye to eye. But still, I'd have liked it if she made a different expression, if only for this moment. I could only think that because I was an outsider who didn't know shit. It wasn't good to make assumptions. Shit. Why was I in this position? Just how much could I even learn in my position? But, as it turned out, I was still underestimating the situation. Hmm. We met Shiemi on the way to the graveyard. That's right. Yoshitsugu had gone missing. Kaori had asked Yasunaga to help look. She and the two high school guys were still searching, but the mist made it extremely difficult. We told her we'd join in once we buried Gonzo san and picked up our pace. The graveyard wasn't that far. Yasumizu wasn't very big. It only felt like it because it only felt like it because of the mists or the load. <laughs> hey, old man, maybe not the most appropriate time for. This. Ah, I'd completely forgot about, about him. He was alright too, huh? I had no idea why, but he was looking at us, clapping and laughing. That meant that Yoshitsugu Oribe kun was the only one we hadn't seen yet. I was told there'd only be one. The wolves were supposed to kill only one person per night. Not saying a word, I hurried to finish the job. That led us to finding him early. Ooh, whoa. Wow. Yoshitsugu kun was on the shortest path to the cliff, in the grass of the graveyard, though Takumi san had only noticed him by chance. That was how deep in the grass he was, and how many pieces of him were there. It reeked of death, too, but it was mixed with the smell of trampled grass and a strange, beastly odor.、Mm. Maybe not all the blood around here was his. Unlike Kanzo san, he left clear proof of a tough battle and intense pain. Yoshi. Now, hold on here. Wolves are only supposed to kill one a night. Did he, did he try to leave during the night or something? 
because his death is much more closely much more closely aligns with the death of the two journalists. Takumi-san's voice was shaking. He picked up a soccer ball-sized object, half-eaten, and basically a shadow of what it used to be. It clenched its teeth, even in death. Takumi-san gave it Yoshitsugu's kun's head to me, and I put my finger in its mouth. I was curious about what was stuck in there, and what I found was a clump of beastly fur. He literally fought tooth and nail, resisting until the very end. Resisting what? Obviously the being that brought the corruption. It didn't take long for the news of Yoshitsugu Oribe's death to spread across the village. I'd heard that the pain of losing one's child was beyond any description. Even so, Kaori Oribe-san broke down so badly it felt abnormal. The mild-mannered woman became a mad beast. We had to band up to keep her from running to where she, we found Yoshitsugu-kun's corpse. We'd already gathered it up and thrown it into Saranaga, after all. Takumi-san kept a tuft of the boy's bleached hair, which he gave to Kaori-san. She instantly put it in her mouth. Through her wailing and choking, she did her best to chew and swallow it. It was a wretched, gloomy, and miserable sight. Though... It might have been an act born of ultimate motherly love. Whatever the case, no matter the shape, it was too late to try and bring her child back into herself. Not to mention absurd and pointless. That was how it looked in my eyes. His words got the attention of basically everyone present, but they didn't reach the sobbing mother and her older son, who was gently consoling her. Yoshitsugu-kun. Why did he have to go against the laws? His efforts in death had only worked to corner not just his mother, but everyone else here. It was useless. He'd gotten some weird fur for us? No one, not even me, had any doubts about what we were dealing with here. A situation where everyone was desperate, acted on their own accord, and didn't know how to use their lives well was basically the worst. And apparently, this line of thinking I'd had, I'd had would foreshadow the next turn of events. Oh, come on. Shit. Why was everyone in such a hurry to do the worst things possible? Chami Sarazawa, Chikamochi Kamoshida, Takumi Muro, and I went out to search for Haru Makashima. Kaori-san shows no, showed no signs of calming down, so Yasunaga-kun stayed with her. Kinosuke-shi refused to come, arguing that it would be bad if there wasn't enough manpower around the dining hall, and he wasn't wrong about that. It wasn't unlikely that some fur-covered murderer, or Haruchan's kidnapper, was still around. To prevent any surprise attacks or accidents, we split into pairs. Good idea. We were given a hoe and a sickle for self-defense. The skirt would have made it harder for him to search, so he changed into a school uniform. It wasn't cut out for the job either, but he had no other clothes. At least it was better than a one-piece dress. 
He seemed to enjoy wearing girls' clothes, so changing into the uniform was probably his way of showing that he was serious about this. He kept his easygoing tone of voice, but I felt like there was a gravity in his eyes, too. He might have been pretty shaken. Haru-chan! Haru-chan! We walked around Yasumizu, shouting until our throats became dry. We checked every bush, all the patches of the tall grass, and behind every tree. We even searched the water around the paddy fields, but it didn't feel like we were any closer to finding her. Mm. Shock was not the impression we got. So maybe she was, we saw her in the morning, she was pale and, you know, obviously shaken. Uh, maybe instead of, you know, Haruaki in my, my own initial thought was that either she saw or had something to do with her grandpa's death. What if it was actually with Yoshitsugu? Too early to say. そうだっけ彼女、ちょっと潔癖症なところがある潔癖汚いものとか行為とか、そういうのを嫌う感じ。最初に会った時から、そんな感じはあったかと思うんだけど。ああ。うーん。というか、休水で一番怖がりなんだ
彼女にどんな心境の変化があったと考えられる Everyone fell silent. They couldn't even imagine it. It was like their brains had stopped working. If she'd actually wandered out into danger, then we'd wasted too much time searching for her in the village. I had to hurry, so I didn't hesitate to use some big assumptions that bordered on chicanery. カノジョは何かを目撃したのかもしれません。あるいは自分のよく知る人物が狼になって人を平然と殺した。その事実を確信できるような何かにね。What いい場所がないように感じられてもおかしくないし。苛烈な性格であるハルちゃんなら一年放棄して脱出を試みるなんてことも考えられるんじゃないか。説得力あるな。しかしならどうする。諦めろっつうのか。That and that was the thought of someone from Yasumizu, who had a few screws loose. So in that way, I'm going to go to the hospital with a few screws loose. That's why I said to stop. I'm okay. If it's bad, I'll just go back to the hospital. If it's bad, there's no one else in the hospital. I'll find a way to find a way to the hospital. So... I'm not going to be a child to see a child. That's what I'm saying. ハッサン。反論しようがないよ、そんなの。もちろん。彼女がまだ休みずにいる可能性は十分ある。二人は引き続き集落内を探していただけますか。任せてくれ。危なかったら絶対逃げてよ。ハッサン、さっき言ってた
We arrived at the mountain pass, separating Asamizu from the rest of the world. The large stones at the sides were like tori without a top. They might have had religious significance. We were going out to find Haruchan, so we were good. Ignoring the fact that Haruchan was breaking that law, we passed between the stones. But we soon had to stop. The path was blocked by a landslide. According to Mochi, despite the despite being pretty rocky, the ground in this area was strangely fragile, so landslides weren't that uncommon. There had been some pretty bad rain three nights ago, hadn't there? If that was related to the mist's appearance, it wasn't unlikely that we'd get both the mist and this landslide at the same time. Despite that, this felt just a bit too convenient. I had to consider the possibility that the people in the settlement above blocked the road to keep the Yomibito from getting through. Hassan! <laughs> hmm. There was something way more important. We found footprints in the still damp mud. It was proof that she'd passed through here. They disappeared into a small cliff that only reached up to my shoulders. She had to have climbed up and disappeared into the forest. Isogo! Dana. The term virgin forest was used to describe forests that were still untouched by mankind, letting nature have complete control over it. Many of the cedars here looked imported, so that term probably didn't apply to this one. However, it wasn't tended to whatsoever, so the words natural or undeveloped definitely worked. There were many fern saplings on the surface, a canopy of leaves above, and a thick mist all around. It certainly didn't feel like a place where humans were welcome. For better or worse, the new fern seemed slightly trampled, indicating someone had passed her recently. Oh yeah, I'd almost forgotten about the very real threat of wild animals. I realized I'd lost myself in the mood and became kinda embarrassed. Shouting over and over, we kept moving forward. She'd tried to follow the path, but all the cliffs and boulders in the way made her stray from it. Ten minutes later, we'd lost all sense of direction. Yeah. This place was really dangerous. Could we really find her? And even if we did, wouldn't it be too late? I was reminded of Yoshitsugu Oribe and his cruel fate. Were we about to lose yet another life? As my thoughts turned to that very real possibility... <laughs> I heard some weak Weeping. I had a bad feeling about this. Something really bad might have happened to her. Chikamochi went after the voice with no hesitation. His body was quickly buried under all the plants and mist. His lack of hesitation felt dangerous in some way. Was I just imagining it? Anyway, I went after him and quickly caught up. <laughs> Haru Makashima was buried under all the greenery. <laughs> I walked up and, ah oh man, this was pretty bad. Her leg was all covered in blood. Her shoe and foot were pierced by a sapling that was broken right at the bottom. <laughs> 
そんなことができるのかノサトは薬作ってた家だかんね。First I'd heard of that, but I had no choice but to believe him. She resisted verbally, but she was too tired and weakened to do it physically. I picked her up, doing my best to ignore her wailing because of the pain, and pulled her away from the branch. Chigamochi quickly took care of her wound and used a handkerchief to stop the bleeding. Modoro! Hassan! Katsugeru? Motiron! Kimiga Oanakte Moinoka? Nanda Kana! Tani Taikakuna Mondaisa? I thought of saying that Haruchan would have preferred him, but she was barely conscious thanks to the pain. We didn't have time to waste on sentimentality. Sendo wa tanome. Mira tori ga mira dake wa kanben na. Modoru dake nara yoyu. Tada yappari, yama o nukeru no wa mubo poi. Agreed. Haruchan, yokatta. Buji datta nda. Anma buji janai. Our return caused quite a commotion, and by the time things had begun to calm down, it was way past noon. Haru Makashima's escape attempt distracted everyone, but none of the problems were actually solved. Kanzo Makashima she was killed by the wolves, while Yoshitsugu Oribe. Was taken by the corruption. Yoshitsugu's death was especially problematic. Each meaningless death was yet another obstacle against resolving the feast. Even if they picked and hung someone during the day, it wouldn't guarantee that there'd be one less wolf. It was way more likely they'd get rid of an innocent. Even worse, the wolves in the group would most likely try to leverage the hangings in their favor. They'd claim to be innocent while casting doubt and blame on the other survivors. To win, the humans needed to do their best to see through the such trickery and identify the wolves, possibly even making them confess. Interesting. Is such a thing possible? That was how I saw it, anyway. And I was the one with the least info here. With that in mind, all humans who died by breaking the rules were actually doing the wolves a favor. If she'd actually disappeared, I'd have said the same about Haru Makashima. Assuming she was human, anyway. Perhaps someone encouraged them to break the rules. If that was the case, the wolves were ruthless, knew the rules well, and were steadily advancing toward a complete victory where all humans lay dead. <laughs> Well, if we have one influ influential person out, the other influential person who could influence others would be Yasunaga. Haru would definitely do whatever he said. Yoshitsugu would probably be influenced by him. Hmm. And just as we'd feared yesterday, the wolves had silenced one of the most important people in the feast. It was hard to believe they'd chosen him just because they were scum or because they didn't like him. The situation was really bad. Another thing to note was that Yoshitsugu Oribe's death greatly affected Kaori san, who was responsible for everyone's meals. That was a major problem. When she tried to give us tea once we returned from the search, her face was pale and she was shaking like she was having a seizure. Despite her attempt to carry on as normal, her composure was in pieces. It was so painful I could barely watch. Takumi-san should have been supporting her, but he was just gloomily hanging his head. In the end, Chiemi had to lead Kaori-san back to her room and stay at her side. I could only hope that was enough to calm her down. Yeah, this is really feeling like a bad end right here. However, it was nearly time to do the inevitable. 
そろそろ始めるべきではないかね。Are... Is Haruaki going to be allowed in this time? Kinosuke Shi addressed the downhearted people gathered in the dining hall. Mada Hajimerare Sona Kanjija, Nedaro. Sono Mama Kyoga, Wari Sode, and I can. Okami Kakuiga, Honki, whatever, or Zen Metsa Serkira Shi, Kono Jokyode. Korejo, Yubio, Kuite Matte, Reba. Lenchu no Mo, Tsubotonar. Nagiga Nandemo, Kyoa Kurumono, Erabanebanara. Chigaukane, Muro. わかったよ安永上の連中にまず声かけてみてくれ That was where Tai-san looked after Haru-chan and Chami looked after Kaori-san あ、奥行くいいよ、もっちいいからさ Chikamochi winked at me for some reason 時間かかるかもよあ,あ、ぼちぼちでいい全員出なきゃまずいしな用意しますよろしくお願いしますよ。あ、待って Now was my chance. 安永くん、ちょっといいかいえ、なんでしょう弟さんのこと、残念だったね。はい。そう言ってもらえて、あいつも少しは救われると思います。ずいぶんと大人びた言い方をするんだね。<笑>もうちょっと素朴な方が良かったですかね。This boy was already pretty mature. 兄弟の仲はあまり良くなかったいえ、そんなことは。最近ちょっとすれ違い気味だっただけで、本当はあいつ、いいやつですから。それは、僕もそう思うよ。心からグレてる子じゃなかったろうし、お母さんとの仲もええ。悪い言葉を使ったりもしてましたが義次は母のことが好きでしたし、うん、母も多分僕よりは義次のことをああいやそんなことを聞きたいんじゃなかったんだごめんごめん All human relations were complicated. Prying too deeply wasn't a good idea. すみません何を答えましょうかいくつかあるんだけど主に伝説上のことだよそれならタイさんの方がもうちょっと理屈のわかる人に聞きたいところなんだ一つ目オオカミはどうして人を殺すんだと思うそれはかつて人間に騙されて殺された恨みで言い直そうオオカミ役の人間はどうしてかつての仲間や家族をためらいなく殺せるんだと思ううん Going along with a more mundane thought here. Eh? Ah. Eh. Ano. Moshkaste. Bokuya Haruchan Utangate. Ah, yeah. Gomen Sojanai. Ipan Ron de Kangate Mite. Ja Kiminga. Hi. Antawa Okami des de Yuarete. Soreja Shikatanai de Satsjinga de Kiru. できるわけないでしょうそうできるわけない無論できる人間もいるだろうが良識や恐怖からできない人間の方が多いんじゃないか特にモッチーなんかを見てると思うここの人たちは特定の概念的存在に恐怖を持ってるがそれは絶対じゃない自分の好きな人を守るためには汚れや狼に立ち向かうことだってできるはずなんだ We saw that with Yoshitsugu. So, I was like, I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good person. Yeah, the more, the more time I spend with Mochi, the more I'm、uh, inclined to agree, actually. Tensai? Eh. Futsu no yatsni dekina, yoso ya ketsdan, or hazen to yatte no kemasi. Honto ni daijina mono igaiwa. Zenbu sterare rundes. Hmm. So, a kind of coldness about him at times. Hokano Hito, a i t s n a o k a s h i n that e e maskedo. Boku, a i t s n o koto, ten sai dato motemas. Naru hodo, sore niwa do kan kamo. Tada, Boku, a eatai noa, Kimitachi, a kegare to you, maho no hito koto, dake de, 
殺人者になるような人間じゃないってこともちろんやらなきゃ汚れだ最終的にやっちゃう人もいるだろうためらいつつ遠慮がちにさところが今回狼は何の躊躇もなくやってるどこに話を着地させたいのか分かんないんですが狼の性格や素質によるんじゃないですか、uh, exactly? もともと人を殺すことに抵抗のない人ならやってのけるんじゃ True if, if, there's, if there's people here who are you know sociopaths or psychopaths or something 狼は2匹いるんだよね But yeah, two of them. ええそのようですねなるほどじゃあ聞くがこの小さな安水という集落で2人以上の殺人者の素質十分なやつがいたか集団の中にサイコが1人いるってより、mm-hmm. サイコが2人いる方が確率的にかなり低いだろう、yep, that's right. それよりは複数のまっとうな人間を無作為に集めて全員一致した殺人者に仕立て上げる方法があると考えるべきだ I don't want to think about this, but I might have to. This is. Ugh. So, でもなきゃこんな残酷なことが行われているのに仲間割れが起きない説明がつかないそう言われると Something that can just turn ordinary people into ruthless murderers. 学校の先生の受け売りですけど思想を与えればいいんじゃないですか Hmm. <laughs> 要は自分たちのしていることが正しいと思えればいいんじゃないかって。That does make sense. 狼の行為が正しいと。なるほど。それはとても面白い考え方だ。市民に戦争させる上等手段ってわけだ。To, to act in righteousness. To... A, a, a righteous anger, a justified anger. Eh, so you h a n a s h i n o t o k i n n a r a i m a s t a Demo, Fsai s a n o k a n g a Choto k a t a y o r i s g i j a n i d e s k a In what way? To you to Tatoeba, Kono Shurak no o n a n o h i t o a d a i t a o k u k a s i s h i k e t d a n a o t o k o m a k a s e n o k o t o g a o i d e s h a r c h a n de Sai Sonades. Dakara, O Kami ga d a n j o n o f t a r i d e 男が主導して殺し女は完全に言いなりってパターンもありえますそれにそもそも今回たまたま迷いのない殺人があっただけでいつもは多少の仲間割れはあったかもしれない True this is the this technically was the first time which is crazy to think about Kanzo is technically the only one that's been properly killed by the wolves then we've had, we've had three corruption deaths so That is a fair point. So, yeah, so da. Tada, Kono Yomi no Utagena, O Mukashkara, Starezni, no Kotter, no Niwa, Nanika Himitsga, Ariso de Sa. Zetai Kakujitsni Korosa Ser Shikumiga Naito Ikena in Janai Katene. So no ten, Kimi no Iken, a Omosiroi. A way to ensure the killings continue. What a dreadful thought. Ano. 面白いって言い方はないでしょうこんな時にこれはごめん不謹慎だったねじゃあもう一つだけ聞かせていいですけどさっき僕はあえて不思議なことが起きてない想定で喋ったけど君自身は不思議なことが起きてると思う考えたくないんですけど起きてると思いますふん<笑>それはどうして神様や化け物を見たことがあるとかい,いえあの言いづらいんですけど Did you see the God too? こんな偏僻なところに部外者が4人もいるタイミングで霧が出たところから大きな石みたいなものを感じますよね
journalists Mako and me. So almost like I don't know, like this 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 village has a has a, a person limit, and when you rock, go above that limit, suddenly the mist activates. Is that? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if he's saying exactly that, but that's what it sounds like. どう考えても人為的にこんなうん。そっか。なるほどね。わかった。変なことを聞いて悪かった。ちなみに君は誰が狼だと思う？夫妻氏春明さん。ah。well, I, if you're being honest, uh, I applaud your honesty. He cut me off with a stern voice. 悪いけど。Oh, pardon me. Okay, so I guess this is an answer to my earlier question. We are still barred, I guess, from the feast. Okay. Uh, alrighty then. We're still doing this, I guess. ちゃんと聞いてください。僕らは宴で意見の出し合いで一人生贄を選ばなきゃならないんです。so, just to just to be clear, Yasunaga. Uh, so I'm not invited to the feast. Got it. Totally cool with that. Am I still a potential vote? <laughs> uh, I feel like you know maybe maybe I shouldn't be. You know, because I like I'm not a, I'm not wrapped up in all this, right? You know, maybe. それが決定だで殺されてしまうことがあり得る程度には。そういうことを聞かれたら、僕は誰かが悪意を持って不採質さんを操ってると思ってしまいます。勘弁してくださいよ。Man, so Mochi's got me thinking Yasunaga might be it. And now Yasunaga is throwing potential shade at Mochi. Man, Mochi would be a terrible wolf. That'd be very frightening, actually. Uh, oh, man. ごもっともだ。心から謝るよ。いえ、ただ、僕はあなたのことを盲目的に不吉だとかは思ってませんけど、あなたが何かに関わってる疑いは捨ててませんよ。Involved, involved. I don't know how involved we are, but I think it's been, has it been twice now that Rakako has apologized to us? So I'm not sure how or why, but I think you're right, Yasunaga, in suspecting that we are involved somehow. I just, I just don't really know how or why yet. Moshi. Well, presuming that we're getting an objective view, you know, from our from our character's perspective, then you don't have to worry about that, Yasunaga. We kind of fell asleep leaning up against a door. Dosri. He glared at me. Ooh, not careful there, Haraki. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think you needed to say that. So, Hey, we saved Haru. That should count for something, right? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be bad. 
そりゃいい考えだ。Wait, why do, why do we have to do the. Why do we have to do the. Oh, because they, they don't want me running around while they're doing their thing. I see. The boy was really smart. If Takumi Muroshi was a site foreman type, he was the manager type. I could see a talent for using people. I could see a talent for using people. Ah, I could see a talent for using people. I could see a talent for using people. I could see a talent for using people. I could see a t a l e 言えば付き合ってくれるかもしれないなそれはきっと僕に限らず I'm, I'm not sure if this is the best strategy to say this right now 原明いやだな何か気を回してます、oh, モッチーが何か吹き込んだんじゃないかと思ってたんです I see I see what he's saying Okay If I or anyone else asked I see I see Got it. Mm-hmm. Boku a betni. Sonna janides. Boku ga chiene ni akongare te tanoa. Mukashi no hanashides. Kinjo de tata hitori no toshiwe no ne sa ni akongare te ta. Sore dake des yo. Jime jime. Gachi gachi na basho de. Chiene wa jiu hompo da ta kara. Mochi to onaji krai. Sugo i hito des. Mukashi wa yancha da ta te? Eh. まあ、人を殺しかけたりとか。Now there's a story right there. ちょっと待って。<笑> yeah. まあ、事故でですけどね。ただ、オープンってちょっと意外です。知恵ねえは結構、人見知りですよ。そうかな。うん、she hasn't acted that way with us. あるいは、大学の3年間で、だいぶ変わっちゃったのかもしれないですけどね。Maybe. Being in an entirely new environment, yeah, I could, you know, she could change. Dakara, Boku a mo in this. See, you say that, Yasunaga, but I am not privy to the thoughts in your head, so I cannot be sure. Nandaka, Kimi no hoga henni kiyoma wa ste naika? A mari kenzen ja naizo, so you know a. Bets ni kanojo ga skina ra sore demo i no ni. ごもっとも。That was it, huh? Okay, okay, I think. Let me see. I think we'll call it there. I've, I think I've reached my limit. Next time, we'll probably deal with the feast and the consequences of that feast. Man, this was a. This was a tough one to get through, huh?、Um, at least it felt like it to me. I thought we'd mostly just be dealing with the aftermath of Kanzo. And yet, suddenly there was Yoshitsugu and then the stuff with Haru, and it just, it, it just felt like the game was piling it on. It, it, that was a lot.、Um, And、quite a lot of stuff happened beyond just that. The conversation with、uh, Yasunaga, conversation with Mochi,、um, me suddenly being suspicious of Yasunaga, and then Yasunaga making me suspicious of Mochi. Oh, this is, this is tough. So, the strategy is to. Uh, Haruaki's still going along with a mundane explanation. And so he's thinking there must. Well, the conclusion, I guess, of that conversation is that there must be something involved within the tradition that, that can turn the normal people of Yasumizu into murderers. And that to do that, one must make them believe they are. What was it precisely? It, was it. If they, are, if they are said to be wolves, to, to carry out the mission, or to aid the wolves, or. Hmm. 
basically make them think they're doing the right thing. Yes, that that was the conclusion, but still not sure about the specifics. Like there was a one there was at one point Haraki said like involving I think he was talking about how you know the more people die obviously the more a disadvantage the innocent people are. But he said after that, you know, about the strategy in the feast would be to, you know, obviously try to corner the wolf, but also he said maybe make them confess. And I guess that would work if it's someone who's aiding the wolves. And it would also work if the, if the wolf, in quotation marks, if the wolf is a role someone adopts and they're still themselves, yes. It's, it all goes back to whether or not this is like a supernatural thing or not. Because if it's, if it's a wolf taking a human form, unless they somehow adopt or retain the person's personality... I don't see why they would ever confess, you know. But if it's a person who is forced or is chosen to take on the role of a wolf instead, then I could see that us trying to make them confess or something. And of course, a huge thing here, it's not just the fact that Yoshitsuku died. It's the fact, it's the method, it's how he died. It's corruption again versus Kanzo. Um, man, I'll have to think about this. Obviously, Haru is involved in a big way, and I'm sure we're gonna get we're gonna get some stuff out of the feast because they're they're gonna have to question her. They're just gonna have to if they want to try and actually solve this thing. So the only question be it's it's not a question of whether or not she was involved. It's a question on how was she involved. Did she inadvertently notice something? Did she actually aid the wolf in some way? Or is she a wolf? You know, it's it's got to be something like that. And that's not pleasant to think about. Um, yeah, I'll have to... I didn't... I barely took any notes. I was, I was so caught up in this episode. Um, I'll have to go back and uh, watch it over again. Because there was a lot, it felt like. In any case, uh, <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. Um, I've been The Warm, and this has been Raging Loop. I, I hope to see you next time.